Hey everyone, Doug from Convology here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a beautiful login page, um, something that you can use on any page of your website for logging members in, creating accounts, generating leads, and you can do so in a number of ways. What's really neat is that Thrive Themes recently updated the login form element to give us several more options since the last time I created a tutorial on this. So let's go ahead and jump in and look at those various options. Now, the first option that you should already see right now is the login form that's just embedded on a page. So this is an example of my membership site, and I recently did a video on how I set up this tech stack. You'll find the link um, wherever YouTube puts it up in the upper right-hand corner there. Um, but essentially, this is a login form that allows users to both create a basic free account on my website and then allows them to log in and then be redirected to my membership area. So this is option number one. Let's take a look at how we put this together. So here we are in a demo site. I'm just going to use this to put this together. Now what I used was the login form element. So if we expand out the uh, element tray here and we just search for login or scroll all the way down to the bottom, you'll find the login and registration form element. Let's add that to our page. And we're given this window here that gives us some options to choose from for our login form. I like to go with something um, sometimes I like fairly simple. A um, couple of ones that I like that I'll just point out to you. I like this one here because it automatically puts an image in that you can replace. I also like this one right here that gives you kind of like this register and login option at the top in, in like tabs. I thought that looks nice. And then I also just like this super simple one here. Um, but really there's several great options and find one that matches your theme. Um, let's go ahead and create, uh, let's create one that's super simple. Like I said, I kind of like this one. Um, so this will be our basic login form. And again, you can put this on any page that you want. This is entirely up to you. So when we click on the form, first thing you can do is right here under type, you can choose login, register, or both. This is essentially saying this form is used to log people into your website, to register an account on your website, or do both of these things. And you can see that when I choose register, it only puts register, login, just login, and both gives me both of those options at the top. Now, one thing that I really like, and that I think allows us to use this for things like lead gen, is this option here, default state. I can choose whether I want people to see it as a login form first or an account creation form first. And I'm gonna choose register because I want this to first be a registration form. Let's look at how we would use this for lead gen. Now, to do that, what I want to do is show you an example of a, an actual client of mine where I implement this for lead gen for a free guide slash course that they built in Thrive Apprentice. So let's jump over and take a look at that. So here's a blog post on my client's website where they created uh, this really great guide that they boosted on Facebook and ran some ads to. And you can see they put a lot of effort into making it really unique, custom videos, like a really great, almost like a sales page blog post. But throughout that blog post, they have calls to action to get instant access to this bigger guide. They're essentially using it as a lead magnet, a Thrive Apprentice course designed to upsell people into creating a free account on the website. Now, to do that, all they ask is for you to give your name and your email and then to create an account on the website. Now, this is awesome for several, several reasons. One, it already gets them in your ecosystem. Two, you get their email address so you can start marketing to them. And three, uh, it allows you to then cater that experience to them as a logged in user, uh, which is really cool. So what's neat about this form is once you fill it out, it automatically redirects you to the exact course that they're wanting you to check out, which is this free five-step system that he's developed. So we'll go ahead and show you what that looks like um, when you log in. Uh, real quick first, I do wanna show down here, it says, if you already have an account, you can log in. And when clicked on, it actually changes it to the login form. So if, again, don't have an account, you can sign up and then it takes you right back. So this is really neat for you to put into a blog post and use this element, not as just like a one and done, you only have one thank you, or one uh, login, one registration page, but it can be put onto any page into any blog post and used any number of times and set up custom to redirect. So let's jump into the back end of this and kind of see some of the settings that we put together. Okay, so now we're in the back end, and this is that exact same form. I want to highlight that we added two things here. If you click on the form and then right where it says submission actions here on the left hand side, you have two options after a successful login and after a successful registration. 
So looking at both of those, what I decided to do is have both of those redirect straight to the actual course itself. So that when they, whether they register an account or they already have one and they log in, they get shot over to the account. So if someone is already logged in and they're reading this blog post, what we can do is, let me show you what that looks like. We go to um, down here at the bottom, uh, what I basically did was edited my design on the left. And then we get this little bar at the bottom where we can choose what do they see if they're already logged in. And for this particular guide, we're showing that, hey, you're already a member and you already have access, basically telling them we already have your email. We don't need to ask you for it again because you're already logged in. And we can just send them with this button directly to the guide. So when they click on that button, they're instantly brought over directly to the guide where they can start consuming that content, engaging with it as a user on the website. So that's really neat. It reduces all of the friction. They're immediately logged in and redirected. And then in the future, they receive an email five to 10 minutes from now, depending on your email provider that says, hey, I just wanna remind you, you signed up for this free guide. Here's how you log in. Here's how you access that free guide. And then from there, they're in your drip and the rest is history. So now let's jump back here and take a look at the registration form and take a look at a couple of things that are happening in this particular example. The first example here is that we are creating an account for them. So on the left-hand side under add connection, we've chosen to add a WordPress account integration, which is the default for this element. And here we're basically saying that when someone registers an account, we want them to be a subscriber. And here we've also added a second integration. Yes, you can have multiple integrations. The second integration is with uh, his active campaign account that tags somebody specific to this particular lead magnet. So this login form has also tagged this person inside of active campaign. This also could have been ConvertKit or SendFox or any number of integrations. So this is serving multiple purposes and now it's part of a funnel and not just a login form. Now on this same website, this client does have a very standard login page. Up in his navigation, we also have a member login button that does take the user directly to just a very simple login form. So what I'm pointing out here is that you can use login forms in blog posts on pages catered to specific lead magnets and objectives and funnels, or you can also in addition to, or instead of have a general page, kind of like what we were setting up back on our example. So that's really it for creating a login page. This is essentially 100% up to you to customize, just like in Thrive Architect. I mean, it is Thrive Architect. We can essentially come in here and uh, add like a, a label here. That's an H1 to say, this is your login page. We can do whatever we want. We can add a background image to this page. We can edit this form to do whatever we want in terms of colors and fields and look and feel. It's kind of like an extension of how I previously showed you we can create a login form um, on our websites using Thrive Architect. This is the latest and greatest way to do so using that login and registration form. Now there's one last way I want to show you how to customize the login experience on your website and that's in the Thrive Dashboard. They recently added this feature where you can um, come to the Thrive Dashboard and scroll down until you see WordPress login screen branding. Now if you click manage login screen, you're going to get this option here that asks if you want to activate. If I disable that, you'll see it looks like the standard. If I activate, it's going to immediately put the logo that I have on file with uh, Thrive Theme Builder and automatically add it here to the login page. Now what we can do is we can come in here and edit with Thrive Architect. And now we're actually editing the standard WordPress login form that you typically would find at like, um, your domain.com forward slash WP admin or WP login. But now we can customize it to look like whatever we want. And this is awesome um, because as you can see here, the minute we start to edit that experience, we are given uh, login form options to choose from. If I choose this one, you'll see that it goes from looking like a very standard WordPress login form with my logo to something now that's totally custom. And I can come in here and I can swap this out to maybe a, a light version of my logo or I could come back here and completely change this login experience entirely if I didn't like the way that it turned out. So again, now I'm editing just the basic page and I can come in here and I can go to the template options here on the right and I can say, well, I wanna come back and maybe I want something a little more simplistic like this, something really clean. And I can edit this to look like whatever I want. So super cool. This 
entirely replaces something like login press or some of those other plugins. You totally do not even need them anymore. This looks professional. And I think anyone would be happy to have such a login feature on their website. Now I will point out one compatibility issue that I have run across and that's with membership plugins that do the same thing. For example, I use wishlist member and wishlist member has the option to customize the login screen. If you engage that option, it does not play nice with this and you'll actually run into some problems where the, the login doesn't work so well. You'll also run into problems if you use login press or anything else that tries to take control of the same experience. And I'll also say that I have run into problems if you use wishlist member and you tell wishlist member to handle the login redirects and the logout redirects. It does not play nice with what Thrive has set up. So to fix that problem, you just simply go under the login options of your membership plugin and just make sure they're all disabled. That way Thrive can take over. So that's gonna do it for how to create a beautiful login page. And I've even leveled up this tutorial by showing you how to use the login page as a registration form for lead magnets, something really cool and fairly unique to Thrive Themes. So that's gonna do it for this video. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out. I'm going to create a blog post as well for this video. I'd be happy to answer any of your questions and we'll see you in the next tutorial.